How did the ancient Middle East become the cradle of civilization? The Middle East is the birthplace of many of the world's earliest civilizations and religions. This arid region connecting Africa, Asia, and Europe has a fascinating ancient history shaped by powerful kingdoms and empires. In this video, we'll explore the major events, cultures, and achievements that formed the foundations of the ancient Middle East, starting from prehistory through the rise and fall of major empires in the region. The Dawn of Civilization The Middle East is home to the Fertile Crescent, an area in modern-day Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, and Egypt blessed with rivers, fertile land, and a temperate climate. These favorable conditions allowed agriculture to emerge around 9000 BCE, leading to permanent human settlement in the Middle East. By 7000 BCE, farming villages appeared across the Fertile Crescent. Weed and barley were grown, and sheep and goats were domesticated. With stable food supplies, populations grew and surplus food enabled new classes of artisans and priests to emerge. Mesopotamian Civilizations Mesopotamia gave birth to a series of influential ancient civilizations and empires. The Sumerians invented writing and built independent city-states across southern Mesopotamia. By 3000 BCE, Sumerian cities included Uruk, Lagash, Ur, and Kish. They created monumental temples called ziggurats to serve as spiritual centers. The legendary Epic of Gilgamesh originated as Sumerian heroic poetry. Sumerian supremacy was eclipsed by the Akkadian Empire. The first Mesopotamian Empire, around 2334 BCE, the Akkadians excelled at warfare and conquered Sumerian cities. The Akkadian king Sargon projected authority across the Middle East until the empire collapsed in 2154 BCE. After an intermediate period under the Sumerian Third Dynasty of Ur, Babylon rose to dominate Mesopotamia. King Hammurabi created the first Babylonian Empire around 1750 BCE and implemented a written code of laws. The Babylonian state patronized astronomy, mathematics, and literature until being conquered by the Hittites in 1595 BCE. The Neo Assyrian Empire emerged in the 10th century BCE and created a strong centralized state. At its peak under kings like Ashurnasirpal II, Sargon II, and Ashurbanipal, the Assyrian Empire stretched from Egypt to Persia. The brutal might of the Assyrian war machine was unrivaled, but civil wars left Assyria vulnerable to an alliance of Medes, Babylonians, and Persians, who sacked the Assyrian capital of Nineveh in 612 BCE. The Neo-Babylonian Empire ruled Mesopotamia from 612 to 539 BCE. King Nebuchadnezzar T rebuilt Babylon into a magnificent capital with advanced infrastructure like the Hanging Gardens, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The last native Mesopotamian Empire, the Neo-Babylonians, was conquered by the Persian Achaemenid Empire, ancient Egypt. While Mesopotamian civilizations rose and fell, ancient Egypt enjoyed remarkable stability and unity. Isolated by deserts on either side of the fertile Nile River Valley, Egypt was sheltered from outside influence as well as invasion. The Narmer palette from around 3100 BCE represents the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt under the first pharaoh. This inaugurated the early dynastic period of Egyptian history spanning dynasties I to II. The Old Kingdom spanned dynasties, 3 to 6 from 2686 to 2181 BCE. This was Egypt's age of pyramid building, with monuments like the Great Pyramids of Giza erected as pharaoh tombs. The Colossal Sphinx was also carved during the Old Kingdom. The Middle Kingdom lasted from 2055 to 1650 BCE during dynasties 11 and 12. This was a golden age of Egyptian literature and art. To secure trade routes, the Egyptians expanded land holdings into Nubia to the south. From 1550 to 1069 BCE, the New Kingdom witnessed the peak of Egypt's power. Military expeditions expanded Egypt's empire to conquer Nubia and the Levant while repelling the invading Hyksos. Monuments like Abu Simbel and the Luxor Temple were built. Pharaohs like Hatshepsut, Thutmose III, Akhenaten and Rameses II attained the status of living gods. After the New Kingdom collapsed, Egypt endured chaotic Third Intermediate, 
and late periods plagued by dynastic struggles and foreign invasion. Though Egypt regained stability during the 20th dynasty and 26th dynasties, it had been eclipsed by new Mesopotamian and Mediterranean powers. Egypt was finally annexed by the Achaemenid Persians in 343 BCE. Bronze Age Collapse The late Bronze Age in the Middle East was dominated by powerful kingdoms like New Kingdom Egypt, Babylonia, Assyria, and the Hittite Empire. A complex network of trade routes streamed tin, copper, gold, silver, textiles, and other luxury goods across the region. Mycenaean Greece and Minoan Crete flourished through maritime trade. But this thriving Late Bronze Age world collapsed catastrophically between 1200 and 1150 BCE, ushering in the Iron Age. A perplexing series of events, including invasions by the mysterious Sea Peoples, climate change, earthquakes, and mass population migrations, led to the violent end of major kingdoms. Egypt and Assyria survived but were severely weakened, while Hittite and Babylonian cities were destroyed. The Bronze Age collapse caused massive disruption throughout the Mediterranean and Middle East that fundamentally reshaped the region's economies, societies, and geopolitics. It opened the door for the small kingdom of Israel to emerge as well as the rise of the Phoenicians along the Lebanese coast. The Persian Empire As older Bronze Age powers declined, the kingdom of Persia rose to imperial greatness. Located in the southern, mountainous region of modern-day Iran, the Persians were an Iranian tribal confederation influenced by early Mesopotamian cultures. In 550 BCE, King Cyrus the Great led a Persian revolt against the Median Empire. After establishing the Achaemenid Persian Empire, Cyrus went on to conquer the wealthy kingdoms of Lydia in Anatolia and Babylon in Mesopotamia. At its height, the Persian Empire spanned over 2 million square miles across the Middle East, Balkans, and North Africa. After ruling for over two centuries, the once mighty Persian Empire fell to the armies of Alexander the Great in 331 BCE, heralding the dawn of the Hellenistic Age. The Persians regained regional dominance centuries later under the Parthian and Sasanian empires. Ancient Israel According to the Hebrew Bible, Israelite origins begin with Abraham's covenant with Yahweh. Abraham's descendants became enslaved in Egypt before Moses led the Exodus to Canaan, promised by Yahweh to the Israelites as a homeland. After a period of tribal organization with judges, the Hebrews established the United Kingdom of Israel under King Saul, David, and Solomon around 1000 BCE. Following Solomon's death, the kingdom split into the Northern Kingdom of Israel and the Southern Kingdom of Judah. From 930 to 720 BCE, the Kingdom of Israel existed as an independent state before being destroyed by the Assyrians after a three-year siege of its capital Samaria. Jewish hopes for independence were briefly realized under the Hasmonean dynasty established by the Maccabees, who liberated Judea from the Seleucids. But in 63 BCE, the Romans under Pompey conquered Jerusalem, inaugurating the Roman province of Judea. After an unsuccessful Jewish revolt, Jerusalem and the Second Temple were destroyed by Titus legions in 70 CE. A second Jewish revolt in 132 CE led to brutal Roman repression. Judea was renamed Syria-Palestina, from which the name Palestine originates. The tumultuous history of ancient Israel left an enduring legacy. Ancient Arabia The harsh deserts of the Arabian Peninsula were home to nomadic, tribal societies for millennia. But along the coasts, cities arose that were integral hubs in ancient trade networks. The Sabaeans constructed irrigation works like the Dam and Marib to support agriculture in semi-arid eastern Yemen. The Kingdom of Saba, centered at Marib, was the strongest ancient Yemeni power from around 1200 to 275 BCE based on control of the lucrative spice trade. City-states flourished along the Red Sea coast of the Hejaz, like Al, Yula emerging in the first millennium BCE. These northwestern trade centers operated at the nexus of Mediterranean networks and South Arabian routes. The Kingdom of Asin arose in southern Arabia by the first century BCE. It became a major commercial entrepot, supplying Greece and Rome with exotic spices, frankincense and mire, in exchange for grain and textiles.
Austin collapsed around 300 CE due to climate change and commercial disruption. These ancient Arabian kingdoms nurtured a thriving cultural exchange. South Arabian script was used across the peninsula during the early centuries CE Arabian polytheistic beliefs began to decline, replaced by Judaism, Christianity, and emerging Islam. Outro. In this video, we covered major events and cultures across four millennia that forged the foundations of ancient Middle Eastern civilization. Momentous Mesopotamian kingdoms, the enduring might of Egypt, the influential faiths of Persia, Israel, and Arabia, as well as the critical trade exchanges throughout the region, all contributed to the rich history of this crossroads of civilization. Hope you enjoyed this overview of ancient Middle Eastern history. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on the captivating history of this remarkable region.